In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply a monomial, or one term, times a polynomial, or an expression made up of many terms. We've already seen the most simple case of this, a monomial times a monomial, when we worked with our exponent properties. Our exponent properties told us that we could first, before we get to the exponent, multiply the numbers together. 4 times 2 is 8. Then, on each variable, we could use the power rule to add the exponents. x cubed, I'll use a different color here, x cubed times x squared, adding the exponents would give us x to the fifth. On the y's, y to the fourth times y to the sixth would give us, adding the exponents, y to the tenth. And finally, on the z's, z to the first, because if there's no exponent written, we assume there's a 1, times z cubed would give us z to the fourth, and we would get our product 8x to the fifth, y to the tenth, z to the fourth. What we're going to be more interested in are these next problems, where we multiply a monomial times some polynomial. We've actually seen this type of multiplication before, where if we've got a term in front of the parentheses, 4x cubed, it's actually a factor in front of the parentheses, we could distribute it onto each factor. The only new thing now is, as we do that distributing, we're going to be adding exponents on each of the variables. When we distribute 4 times 5, we get 20, and now with the x's, 3 plus 2 gives us x to the fifth. Continuing to the next term, 4x cubed times negative 2x, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and then on the x's, 3 plus 1 is 4. Finally, 4x cubed times 5, 4 times 5 is 20, and we still have the x cubed with no extra variables. We end up with our final product, 20x to the 5th, minus 8x to the 4th, plus 20x to the 3rd. This idea can be extended in this next example to include problems with several variables. Here we have 2a cubed times b, times the polynomial 3ab squared minus 4a. Again, we will distribute through the parentheses. As we distribute, we have 2 times 3, or 6. For the a's, we will add the exponents, 3 plus 1 is 4, and on the b's, we will also add the exponents, 1 plus 2, to get 3. Distributing on to the negative 4a, we get negative 8, a to the 3 plus 1, or 4, b to the 1st. And we get our final answer, 6a to the 4th, b cubed, minus 8a to the 4th, b. As we're multiplying a monomial times a polynomial, Really, all we have to do is distribute the monomial onto each term of the polynomial. As we do, we will use the product rule of exponents to add exponents as needed to get our final solution.